Hello. Hello, it's Thomas Tarot in the house. And I'm reading today for all the signs, or not all the signs, for Leo, baby. How y'all doing? Hello. Let's see. Okay, so who is the person on your mind? Who is the person on Leo's mind? And three cards. Who is this person on their mind? Hello. Who are they? The Four of Pentacles is somebody that's holding back from you. So you, this is how you see them, or how you, uh, how you would know who they are. The one you feel is holding back, like they, you feel like they're just not giving you much, or they're holding back it's their future actions towards you, they're not cooperating with you. They're just not cooperating. What is their feelings for you? Ten of Pentacles. At least when you work around or work with. If not, they could be focused on their work right now. But they feel like you're their everything. This person's not letting on how it, so it's another fire sign with the King of Wands. Does it have to be? Earth, they come up as an earth sign. Oh my God. They're not being truthful about or open about like how they feel like you're their everything. They feel like they could have everything with you. But I don't feel like they've really let you know that. I did not expect that to be their feelings for you. I was expecting, because it's telling me they're just, um, yeah, I'm still sick, but I'm getting better. Uh, I fly out on, I fly to Georgia on Saturday, so I'm hoping I'm better by then. Thank you, Innocencio Flores. How does this person feel about Leo in two cards? They're too smart for my games, that's annoying. So they've tried to play, play head games and mind games with you, but you didn't give them the reaction they wanted, if that makes any sense. I knew exactly what I was doing. Some I mean, of this person was playing games purposely and you didn't give them the reaction they wanted. I'm just so surprised that why is the Ten of Pentacles this person's feelings? Financial issues. Somebody may not feel good enough for you or you don't feel good enough for them, something like that as well. Let's see. Why is Ten of Pentacles this person's feelings for Leo? So this person feels like they can have it all with you, like they feel like they want to commit to you, all right? Um, three of Cups reversed. Is there another person in the situation? Is there another person? Did you have, okay, did you have to cut them out due to somebody else or, or is there somebody else in the way between you two? Some of you, they want it all with you, but there's another person that's causing you two to be delayed or to not have anything, if that makes any sense, whether from your side or theirs, because I got three of cups reversed there. That's really strange. How do you feel about them? My ears still stuffed up. It was getting better this morning. Now I feel stuffed again. All right, here we go. How do you feel about them? You want to walk away. You want to walk away from the situation? Let me put. Let me get this straight. If this is if the, if the person you're focused on is if they're the one with the uh, see, look, my voice is going out. If they're the one with um the triangle thing, like they want it all with you, but there's somebody in the mix on their behalf. So now some of you it's switched where it's that you have somebody else, and that's the problem. But I think there's another person in the mix. But somebody feels like they can have it all with you, but it's like a, there's another interference there, all right? So you're walking away. Some of you, you're like emotionally, you're trying to walk away from this. Some of you are going to be open to other options. Some of you may not have another option. Are you going to find other options? You feel like this is too much to carry and you're ready to walk away. Like you feel like, the, so at this point you're walking away. I feel like they're more, emotionally tapped in than you are at this point because I feel like you're more focused on walking away. Mm. 
what's your feelings for them? I'm really shocked by that reading. It bothers me to see others interested in you. It, you know, that's you see with this person, you feel like you have to compete for them. That's the problem. This is your feelings. I think some of you are tired of like some of you thought your popularity puts me in a pessimistic mind frame, whether they're literally popular or you just feel like they got too much going on. Like, how can I compete for that? Like, you may not feel like, oh my God, this is a specific story. It's almost like you feel like, okay, how am I going to stick around in that? Like this person may be wanted by other people or they have another option. But I'm very shocked that I feel like um, it says they're holding back from you right now and they're not being really cooperative right now with you. Like I don't get much action from them, but I find it funny that their feelings for you is that they, they could have it all with you. But I think there's a person here that has a person attached or there's something in the middle. Definitely. All right. But they feel like they get, it's almost like they feel like they can have it all with you. So whether they get attention or they're popular, it says popularity or something like that, or whether they just get attention or they have options. I feel like some of you just don't feel like you want to compete with that. I don't know if it's making sense. You're unmoved. It frustrates the hell out of me. I feel like this is somebody you feel like you just can't get anything off the ground with, and you're pretty much left with the only option to walk away. What was their um, actions towards you in the past? This person in two cards. I don't know if they ended it with you, but I feel like for some of you, this you two had a lot of drama and the drama stopped, but there was like a lot of hurt feelings. I feel like this hurt you in the past, whatever this was. It's not really giving me a whole lot. What was your actions towards them in the past? Six of Cups and Knight of... So what's the outcome between these two? Damn, you two have a spiritual connection. You two may end up together. I feel like you two have a bond that's not being broken. I don't care if you're around them. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. What? Know the, know the order of the Zodiac before you talk. What's after Leo? I don't mean to be rude, but shut your damn mouth or put a dick in it. Do something. All right, do put something in there. All right, that way it'll shut you the fuck up. Because when I, when y'all do stuff like that, it's not me being rude or arrogant. It's like know the order of the zodiac before you talk to your jump. I do the uh, order of the zodiac. I do it in the order of the zodiac. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. I think you two are going to get back together or stick together. Either you're, with, either you're going to stay together if you're already with them or you're going to get back together. I don't feel like you two, you two have an unbreakable bond, but unfortunately, somebody can't stay with, it's almost like, I think the interference is either one, another person, or maybe family's involved too much, or an actual love option that somebody has is involved. Or them having options is the problem, but clearly they feel like they can have it all with you, whoever this is making sense with. I think your outcome is amazing. This is the best outcome. I think some of you, like, I feel like you two, I don't, I'm not to say your outcome with one another is literally reconnecting. Some of you, a relationship could happen still between you two or one could remain or happen, whether you're with the person or not. I don't know how to really word it. Thanks, Leo and Nick for that, Tan. Thank you so much. So there's that read for the person on your mind, all right? I am so not ready for that plane flight. I feel so claustrophobic on planes, but oh well. All right. I don't mean to be rude, but you need to learn how to, you'll need to stop calling me out and learn your zodiac sign order. Instead of talking to me, do your research. I don't mean to be rude, but okay. Oh. oh no, wrong wrong banner. 
All right. <laughs> I actually get recognized at airports a lot. <laughs> Look at that. All right, singles, what's coming up for you? What are you doing in love? You're guarded. You're, you know, you're like a wounded warrior when it comes to love. Some of you are just so wounded. All right. Who's coming towards you that's new? Oh, we got a new person. They could be younger than you, your age or younger. Or they're coming in. You got a fire sign coming your way or an air. You got love options coming in. I get two. You're so guarded, though. How are you going to let people in when you're so guarded? That's the problem. Why the nine of wands? You just give up. I think a lot of y'all are in this energy. I'm, I'm going to hold back. I'm not going to put any effort in. It all, I always fail is what I get that you feel. I get a Scorpio fire sign or air sign coming your way. What's the outcome in love for? When will they most likely end up in something for the rest of the year? We're in April, so give me eight cards. The rest of the year, when, when is the most likely year of a most likely month of something big? Got an ex returning in um, May. You got a connection coming up pretty quick. Somebody new, but I get an ex returning in May. I don't know if you'll be in a long term thing, singles anytime soon. But there's an ex returning in May, and then you got other options coming in. But I don't see an end all be all just yet. I'm gonna be real with you. All right. What is your advice for love? Love comes to those <laughs> that do believe it. And that's the way it is. What in the Celine Dion? You know what? Your advice for love is stop overthinking it. It's coming. I don't feel like you have to put more. Look, just live your life. It comes in. All right? No need to overthink it. You can't control the timeline is what I take from this. It'll happen when it does. All right? I don't know why I'm getting that's the way it is by Celine Dion. I heard that in years. I think that song is about finding love. When you question me for a simple answer, I don't know what. Yeah, that's look up that lyrics. That may be a message for you in that. All right. Who gives a fuck? Don't overthink it. It's coming in. All right. Some of the person you end up with lives far away and you two would come together eventually or something like that. All right. When you, oh yeah, when you want it the most, there's no easy way out. My ear is worse, but I'm just going to die. I'm going to die at home instead of going to the doctor. I'm ready to die. Not like suicidal wise, more just if I'm ready, if, if my body's ready to give out, I'm okay. <clears throat> like my symptoms are getting better. It's just the ear still feels like it's got fluid in it. But I ain't going to the hospital. I don't give a fuck. Please don't tell me to go to the hospital because you'll get blocked. Like, I'm not fucking stupid. I know what I need to do, but I'm not going. So, what's going to for the general? For in general, for Leo. Some of you that had plans to move, I get you sticking where you're at. Or if you had plans to do travels, I get you not doing those travels, or at least not right now. I get a lot of y'all living in regret as well, like wishing you had done more in your past. Like, oh, I'd be here if only regret is a fool's game. Like, ain't nothing you can do about the past, but you can change your future. All right. Some of there's a connection that you were involved in that still affects you in other areas of your life. Like what I'm saying is, it's like, 
that just added extra drama to your life that you didn't need, but it still lingers, if that makes any sense, in your other areas of your life, all right? I also get some of you being focused on saving money more as well, all right? I get you saving money, being more of a penny pincher, not as spending as much and stuff like that. What else? Cynthia, Cynthia, did you not hear what I just said? And by Cynthia. Oh, you're a troll. You don't look like no fucking Cynthia to me. Is that? Oh, wait. You don't look like a Cynthia to me. And you clearly are trolling, all right? All right. What did I, what did I tell you about telling me what to do? All right, so around summer and spring, more abundance happening. You around so some of you that are having like things being slow in your finances and stuff around spring and summer, that, that clears up. Some of you more financially abundant. Some of you becoming single or staying single in the spring and summer too. All right, some of you, you're, the, it's almost like the universe wants you to focus on your abundance instead of love right now. All right, focus on your career or business things. All right. All the way from Aries of Pisces, what can you tell me? Go to urgent care. You gonna need urgent care if you keep fucking with me. <laughs> you don't know. I put bitches in urgent care. You don't know when they. <laughs> I'm not really that gangster, but it's funny. <laughs> Tyler's trying to beat up women. That wasn't no woman, all right? And you saw the picture, that wasn't no woman. <laughs> all right, here we go. All right. <laughs> all right. Talking about some motherfucking urgent care. Okay. All right, let's do this. <laughs> All right. Mm. I think I love you, so what am I so afraid of? I'm afraid that I'm not sure of. Who gives a fuck? All right, all the way from Aries of Pisces, what can you tell me? All right. Mm. Go to Aries. That will have a new start and more drama. They're going to fight to have a new start and to fuck you in the future. Taurus, walk on away, but at some point, they'll want another chance with you. You know that Cancer? I only know that, I only know that song from Scream 2 when he got up and sung it to Sydney in the cafeteria. That's the only reason I know that song. Um. Gemini is an unreliable whore. At some point, they'll try to choose you, but they're still not reliable, if that makes any sense. Cancer, letting this go. They don't have no more fight left in them for you. Leo is getting over heartbreak either before you or heartbreak you cause them. They're holding back. Virgo, they want a new start, even though they feel like it'll fail. They want a new start. Libra, no cooperation coming from them. No relationship. Too unstable. Give it up. Get out, get, get over it. Scorpio, wait, Sagittarius is avoiding you? No, no, no. Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio is avoiding you because they feel like you're the source of their unhappiness. That's what I get. We don't want to, uh, Sagittarius, I feel like they're detaching from this, but don't let that fool you that they're being detached and cold. They're really up in their head about it, especially at night. May have had dreams or nightmares about this. 
Aquarius, out of the blue, they'll come. Sorry, Capricorn, out of the blue, they'll come back suddenly or stick with you suddenly. You will end up, in, your future person you'll end up with is an Aquarius. Whether you know them now or you'll know one, you're going to end up in a relationship with an Aquarius, probably a sun sign. It's got a Venus sign for some of you. Who gives a fuck? Doing the Pisces, I feel like at some point they're going to like let loose and speak. Why the high priestess reversed? Somebody's going to tell you they dropped something for you or they're dropping everything for you or they want more with you or something like that or vice versa if you're a Pisces cross watcher. That could be the Leo that does that to you. All right? Who gives a damn? Bye. Thanks, Leo Nix, for the, uh, the super chat.